the moral domain, as I define uh -huh. it in my work, is behavior that has consequences for the well-being of others. Okay. Okay? That we live in a world where we are stakeholders in each other's lives and we have influence on each other's lives. And psychotherapy traditionally uh -huh. could assume that people had that, okay? uh -huh. uh, and that maybe it was even too restrictive. And the job of the therapist was to liberate people to say, as, as Fritz Perls would, would put it, what do I want? Uh -huh. What do I need? And not what, what should I do? When I was trained in the 70s, I was trained that if somebody, if a client said should, you right. challenge them about that. Sure. Okay? That should represents an inauthentic approach to one's life. Mm -hmm. Well, there are certain shoulds where that's the truth. I should be a lawyer because my daddy was a lawyer. Okay, we're, you know, yeah. we're that that's a non-moral should. But, but I should be looking after my frail, aging mother more is mm -hmm. not a trivial mm -hmm. thing to say, well, Bill, do you need to? Do you want to? But mm -hmm. so, so part of what I do is to take those shows, those interpersonal obligations, seriously. I think that this is all part of, of trying to deal with the culture of the time. Every therapy model comes out of a culture, has to deal with what are the kind of modal cultural issues and problems. And many of the models we, we, uh, we have in our field came out of the, of the mid 20th century or before. And what they were attempting to do was to treat people in a way to liberate them from social conformity. Mm -hmm. okay? It's still important, I think, that people not be slaves of social conformity. But now we have to start working the other side of this as well, and that is, what are my responsibilities to family, to friends, to community? 